Good morning and welcome to Christ Church Cathedral, Newcastle, in which this service of morning prayer for Monday morning is being recorded. My name is Catherine Bowyer and I'm the Dean of Newcastle. And I acknowledge that this cathedral church stands on Awabakal land. The Awabakal people have cared for this land, this earth, this sky and this sea for generations beyond counting. And I pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging and pray that I with them may join in a spirit of reconciliation in caring for all that God has entrusted to us in the good gifts of creation. The service for Monday morning prayer can be found in the prayer book on page 390. Our psalm is portion of Psalm 104 and our reading from Luke's Gospel, chapter 10. So let us pray. In the name of God, creator, redeemer and sanctifier. Amen. God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our opening canticle, a song of God's marvellous acts. I will sing a new hymn to my God. O Lord, you are great and marvellous. You are marvellous in your strength invincible. Let the whole creation serve you. For you spoke and all things came to be. You sent out your spirit and it formed them. No one can resist your voice. Mountains and seas are stirred to their depths. Rocks melt like wax at your presence. But to those who revere you, you still show mercy. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Our psalm is Psalm 104, which can be found on page 330 of the prayer book. Psalm 104, verses 1 to 25. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, how great you are, clothed with majesty and honour, wrapped in light as in a garment. You have stretched out the heavens like a tent cloth and laid the beams of your dwelling upon their waters. You make the clouds your chariot and ride upon the wings of the wind. You make the winds your messengers and flames of fire your ministers. You have set the earth on its foundations so that it shall never be moved. The deep covered it as with a mantle. The waters stood above the hills. At your rebuke they fled. At the voice of your thunder they hurried away. They went up to the mountains. They went down by the valleys to the place which you had appointed for them. You fixed a limit which they may not pass. They shall not return again to cover the earth. You send springs into the gullies, which run between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field, and the wild asses quench their thirst. Beside them the birds of the air build their nests, and sing among the branches. You water the mountains from your dwelling on high, and the earth is filled by the fruits of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle, and all green things for the creatures that serve us. You bring food out of the earth, and wine that makes glad the human heart, oil to give us a shining countenance, and bread to strengthen the heart. The trees of the Lord are well watered, the cedars of Lebanon that he has planted, where the birds build their nests, and the stork makes her home in the pine tops. The high hills are a refuge for the wild goats, and the crags a cover for the conies. 
You created the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the hour of its setting. You make darkness and it is night, in which all the beasts of the forest move by stealth. The lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they retire and lay themselves down in their dens. Human beings go out to their work and to their labour until the evening. Creator Spirit, Advocate promised by our Lord Jesus, increase our faith and help us to walk in the light of your presence to the glory of God the Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our reading is from Luke's Gospel, chapter 10, verses 1 to 12. After this, the Lord appointed 70 others and sent them on ahead of him in pairs to every town and place where he himself intended to go. He said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the labourers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out labourers into his harvest. Go on your way. See, I am sending you out like lambs into the midst of wolves. Carry no purse, no bag, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this house. And if anyone is there who shares in peace, your peace will rest on that person, but if not, it will return to you. Remain in the same house, eating and drinking whatever they provide, for the labourer deserves to be paid. Do not move about from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and its people welcome you, eat what is set before you, cure the sick who are there, and say to them, the kingdom of God has come near to you. But whenever you enter a town and they do not welcome you, go out into its streets and say, even the dust of your town that clings to our feet, we wipe off in protest against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God has come near. I tell you, on that day, it will be more tolerable for Sodom than for that town. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Our canticle, a song of Isaiah. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. On that day you will say, Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing God's praises, who has triumphed gloriously. Let this be known in all the world. Shout and sing for joy, you that dwell in Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let your merciful ears, O Lord, be open to the prayers of your humble servants, and that they may obtain their petitions, make them to ask such things as shall please you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God of all holiness, we come before you in faith and hope seeking to ask of you those things that shall please you. We pray for this world, particularly praying, bringing before you in faith those places which are torn apart through disaster, through disaster brought about by human greed, through natural causes, through human fear and violence. We pray your peace, your healing, your restoration, 
your comfort. We pray for those who are called to leadership at this time. For Scott Morrison, our Prime Minister, Gladys Berejiklian, our Premier. For New Atali Nelms, the Lord Mayor of this city. And for Tim Crackenthorpe and Sharon Clayden, who represent us in this Newcastle area at state and federal level. We pray that all who are called to lead may lead with a spirit of mercy and justice, may care for all and enable us to live well as community. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of all holiness, we come before you in faith and hope to ask such things as will please you for your church, your body here on earth. We pray for Peter, our Bishop, for Sonia and Charlie, our Assistant Bishops, for Arthur and Rod, our Archdeacons. In this Cathedral Parish of the Cathedral and St Peter's, we pray especially today for your servant Angela Peverell, as she is commissioned this evening for ministry with the Parish of Musselbrook. We pray for Angela, for the people of the Parish of Musselbrook, and all who will be touched by their ministry coming to know you, the one who brings life in all its fullness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of all holiness, we come before you in faith and hope, seeking to ask such things as will please you, bringing before you the needs of the world, particularly those who are ill at this time. Ill with COVID-19, overwhelmed with the pandemic, ill with other illnesses complicated by COVID-19. Those who feel lost or lonely or anxious. Those who are beginning new things. And those who know their time is drawing to a close. Pour out your healing, your grace and your strength. And may your holy angels visit them in the faces of those who come into their lives, in the arms of those who care for them, in the words they hear, in the touch they feel. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of all holiness, we come before you in faith and hope, seeking to ask such things as will please you. We give you thanks for your holy people of every time and place. Pray that we too may, like them, be people who live lives that are transfigured from glory into glory and one day rejoice in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but a spirit of power and of love and of self-discipline. May we rekindle the gift of God within us. Amen. <laughs>